Hello, welcome to Real Magic Review. My name is Steve Faulkner and now I'm going to review Blink Vanish by Sans Minds. Before we do that, have a look at cardmagiccourse.com or have a look at it afterwards if you want or make a mental note to have a look at it afterwards because that's my online card magic course. If you like the reviews, you'll love the course. Over 200 videos and I'm adding to it regularly. I'm going to be adding to it even more regularly because I've got a new camera, yes, which I don't stop banging on about, do I? Any kind of link to pick one up, pass it to show to the camera. Jack of Diamonds, great card. I'm going to try something really interesting with your card. I'm going to slowly rip a corner out from your cards, okay? Paint super tight and do not let it go, okay? Don't move. Three, two, one. Just like that, you went back. So here we go. Well, okay, right. I'm mixed about this one. We're we'll getting to what it is. Blink Vanish is another one of these very, very visual things that you see and go, how do they do that? It looks like animation and it's great and it looks brilliant and it's not that hard to do and all that stuff, okay? This isn't the first time I've seen we've seen a torn restored card or a torn corner of a store on the card. You know, Michael Amar's got this brilliant, this beautiful um, thing in the the Magic of Michael Amar book, which is the first time I came across it because it was one of the first books I got. And um, there have been a lot of these things around. What's different about this? Well, I suppose it get it, it's almost in that school of. You know when you've got a flipper coin and it, you actually, you know, you can do a coin across two ways. You can go like that and then the coins arrive and you go, how did they get there? Or you can, and you see them arrive, right? One of them arguably looks better, but for me is maybe a little bit less magical for various reasons. Um, and I don't want to get into that here. That's a one for another vlog, I reckon. But it's one of them. It's kind of like, looks great. And it's going to make people go, whoa, like that, as most of Sans Mind stuff does and we know that they are quite honest in that way it, they do tend to deliver that but it's as we all know it's how you get to that bit how do you get from receiving that to doing that <laughs> and how much work is it going to take so good news is there's not much DIY in this it is actually you know it says um 10 minutes you, you probably bang it together in less than that really it's it's pretty easy it gives you the thing you need to do it some of you are going to guess what that thing is it's not rocket science if you're in the game um some of you won't but it's let's just say it requires a, a some attire a it is going to be dependent on what you're wearing that's all i'll say so the making it up is easy the final product you get is good is it sturdy? Is it going to last you? I don't know. And those of you who have used this kind of thing, which we'll get onto in a minute, my, becoming my catchphrase, will know it's important how long this thing is going to last. And we don't know. I don't know because I haven't used it hundreds and hundreds of time yet. Time will tell. And, but it is going to be dependent on that because if that goes, you're going to have to get another one and that's going to cost you. And that's the the. I'm really on the fence with this one. It's a little bit like open switch. You know, you, it's a moment that is very magical. But we seem to be getting into this thing now of releasing lots of moments that are magical as one release and therefore having to spend that money on that one. Now, now this one does feel a bit more value for money because of what you get if it is a quality thing, which we don't know yet. But that, that you kind of go, okay, we're looking, there's versatility there, which you don't get with a lot of their routines. But it doesn't feel like a... It, yes, it is a routine, and there's a way of doing the torn corner and making it look like the, color, the, look like the corner's not there anymore, which is very clever, but it's a bit faffy. It, it probably isn't a, a meaty enough routine for me. That's me, though. If you want, again, the brilliant social media or any of that, this is good. And it is going to work. You know, you could do this at a gig and people would really like it, you know, because it's a torn corner restoration. It's, they, that's what it is, and they are very good. Would I pay money to get that one moment? Now, I'm a sleight of hand magician, and that's not that that's better than not being a sleight of hand magician, because this will take a lot of the work out of being able to do that, and it will give you that visual moment. But I've got DVD. I was thinking about this the other day. Uh, you know the um the like Louis de Matos DVDs. You know the Paul Daniels one and the Danny Daugherty's one and all that, where you've literally got someone's entire career, David Williamson over four or five or whatever DVDs, hours of stuff for like 100 quid, right? Or you could buy this one moment 
for whatever. So with things like Enlarge and uh, Mimic, I think that they are meteor routines. They've got a bit of a journey to them and, and they are really unique. One thing about this is this idea is as old as eels. It's not a, a, a new idea. The way it's done maybe is, but when you get what you get, you go, well, of course, you know, that's, that's and, and this is, it, yes, it might be a slightly different way of doing it, but don't think you're going to get something that's going to blow the doors off everything you've ever known before. Again, that is not a bad thing. It's just something you need to know. So, good points. It looks great. It's not angly. It's not going to take you much setup. It's not going to take you much work to learn it. You're going to have to rehearse. There is going to be some rehearsal there. Um, and it and it looks great. Bad points are, um, it's a moment. It's quick. It's one thing. And, well, they're not bad points. They're just things you need to know. Um, but, you know, it's it's fine. You know, it's, it looks good. So, there you go. Blink Vanish by Sans Mines. Um, if you're going to get that or something like Enlarge or Mimic, I'd go for one of them um, instead of this. But but there's this is a it's a solid solid little magical moment. Uh, thank you very much indeed. My name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review. My card magic course is cardmagicourse.com. And please like and subscribe. And if you like this sort of thing and you want to share it with your magician friends, that'd be great. And, you know, the best thing you can do is to talk about it. Is, you know, say to your friends... There's a really... Well, I don't need to tell you what to <laughs> say to your friends, do I? Oh, God, what am I talking about? It's been a day. So have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.